In this video, we explore the cross-reference capability of TI Portal. We considered three scenarios for troubleshooting capability of cross-reference. One is only shown in this topic. The next scenarios will be dealt with in a new video. Please subscribe and ring the bell for new topics. We explore this capability by uh, checking this functionality in the program that we uh, developed uh, previously in this channel, Traffic Light Program via TI Portal. Uh, you can see the expected behavior in this program, uh, in this uh, demo when we mm, trigger the signal in one of the inputs the, uh, the traffic light sequence is starting green yellow and red and again the, the sequence restarts again uh, let's have a look to the program and also uh, check the cross reference in the in a normal uh, normal case. Um, we mm, alongside the, mm, the normal case, we uh, mm, consider three uh, troubles. Uh, we change the pro the normal program in the ways that. Uh, uh, some programming error or some bad behavior may may be seen and you you should uh, you should solve the cases by using cross reference capability in TI portal so first let's uh, check the program in online mode let's test it and uh, see what's the elements in the program mm, program uh, is main, the main program is inserted in OP1 uh, it's, uh, it's executed psychic, cyclically uh, FC1 is the main program the control pro the um, FC1 contains the um, sequence of uh, traffic light, the timing and memories to detect edges, positive edges, uh, to uh, the governing um, philosophy of the traffic light control is uh, developed in FC1. And uh, the reason for FC, FC2 is set aside for uh, in, um, problems that uh, that can affect the, the the routine of the FC1 the main the main part of pro, pro, uh, program I, I don't want to show you uh, the program in uh, FC2 because it may spill spill the beans reveal the secrets of uh, next section so just focus on FC1 uh, it's very uh, straightforward. I will uh, I will share the link to the original uh, video that we discuss uh, this program in the comment section. Uh, I have already mm, created simulating panel for 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 this example. Uh, if I uh, make the, the the start signal true the whole sequence starts and you can see the sequences um, the the time for um, green lamp is 10 seconds fine 5 seconds uh, for yellow and 10 seconds for red and after <coughs> finishing the red the whole cycle and sequence restart and you can see we are in red and um, Again, green is uh, lit. Uh, it's very simple. 
Now uh, let's see how can you access the cross reference. Uh, let me go offline. Cross reference for the whole uh, CPU to access the cross reference for the whole um, CPU. If you select the CPU, and there there are two options. You can use the right click option and selecting cross reference or pressing F. Eleven, and you have the access to the cross reference of the whole CPU, the whole program in CPU. It's a relatively a small program, but uh, you can see uh, it's very complex. And uh, at first glance, you may be confused. The other way to uh, call the cross reference is using this button here. They're all uh, same. You reach uh, the the all the options um, provide you the same result. So this is the cross reference uh, window, and you can see how all variables used in the in the program and how they are used, where they are used, anything about the variable, their connection. You can find it. You can trace the connections. And uh, there are some uh, controls here. You can collapse all options to have a much uh, manageable view of the all variables. And the other option that uh, that's very helpful, consider if you have a very complex program and you have many, many uh, variables here, you need to use the filter filtering capability uh, and for example, consider in this example, we want to just show the cases related to the uh, flunk memories that are uh, memories that are allocated for the edge detection. We want to use the filter. Uh, click on the filter icon, create a new filter and in attribute, you want to sort by name. I want to sort, I want to have access to flunk numbers, all these. And uh, I want to filter by name variables that contains flunk. And apply the filter, you can only have access to the, the, the all flunk memories in my symbol table. Uh, in my PLC tag table and those that are used in the program you have access to them for example we checked flunk number four and uh, it's used in FC1 lat function uh, it's a read and write access and by clicking here you will go to the program uh, you can check the program and there is another option if you you don't want to check the cross reference in a central huge view with very complex view you can trace the program pick the program in the editor uh, for example I want to see um, I want to trace one, trace one of the my memories I want to see where This M00. I want to see this. If I use this option, it's a fast, uh, you know, it's a fast way to access um, to the cross reference related to this address, to this address M00. It's used in three instance, instances, two write options and one read, read option. Here. It's very easy, and you can try another cross reference. And both are similar. Uh, so uh, you find out how it's possible to access the cross reference in tier portal. The next uh, the next step is to um, have the first. Scenario. 
I uh, change the normal program in a way that it doesn't function like the, the normal program and we want to analyze what's the reason. Uh, I applied some changes in the program that uh, um, it may differ it may differ from the original version. And you can see the difference now. Uh, please note that uh, despite the fact that the start signal is off, there is a pulse in one of the outputs. Something is uh, is wrong here, and we want to find out um, to find out this. Uh, in cases of in case of uh, working several engineers on the same project, this may happen some changes in program that uh, that may cause unwanted behavior so you you want to trace w w what's happening here to have uh, uh, unwanted pulse the sequence is not started but you have a uh, unwanted, unwanted pulse the sequence works perfectly but you have a may unwanted pulse here so uh, we should search uh, for Q04 and see what's wrong with this signal. Q04. Q04 is here. So now uh, there are several options to to check. Uh, we can um, call the the short form of cross reference. Uh, this uh, this signal has multiple right access. That's can uh, that's uh, yeah, is a possible problem. Uh, let's see what's uh, each, uh, what's the scenario in each cases. The first uh, the first one is, is in the right access is in FC one and it's the normal behavior of the program. But what's the second one? Second one is in FC2, and we have no clue about this. Possibly somebody uh, changed the program for another functionality to improve another functionality later. Uh, when you receive the uh, the program again, uh, consider the traffic light section is not working properly, and we want to know the reason. Yeah, it's clear that the reason is. Uh, wrong of you know over over written wrong you know multiple uh, right access to the same memory so uh this is the uh, cause of error here if we delete this section or if we solve the, the problem here the the main functionality of the the program will be stored so um, you find out that uh, cross reference will help you to trace all read and write access of the memory. You don't have any problem with the read access, but the multiple write access is the the most uh, problematic case uh, in case of handling the same program with uh, with several different programmers. So. Uh, let's restart and there is no uh, blinking problem in this signal because uh, we try to solve it by using the cross reference. I hope you enjoy this topic and please follow us on social media.